I'd like to do a quick example of how to solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So if you have something in the form 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can use the quadratic formula to find the solutions, find the roots uh, where, the where the graph crosses the x-axis. So I have an example here, y equals 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. So the first thing you have to do is set y equal to 0. So you have 0 equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. Because you want to find the x values when y is equal to 0. So your a value in this case is equal to 3. The b value here is 4. And the c value here is negative 1. So then you just substitute your a, b, and c values into the quadratic formula, <coughs> negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a equal to x. So you have x equal to negative b, which in this case is negative 4, plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times a, and a is 3, times c, and c is negative 1. This is all over twice a, so 2 times 3. This is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 12. Because we have a 4 times a 3 times a negative 1, 4 times 3 times negative 1 is negative 12. So we have 16 minus negative 12, which is 16 plus 12. At this point here, a lot of students mix up this negative 1 and just sort of forget about it. But you can't forget about this. This is important. It changes the value of your discriminant if you don't consider that negative sign. So this is all over 6. So then we have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 28 all divided by 6. And then if you can simplify this, do so. So um, 28 is 4 times 7. So this simplifies to negative 4 plus or minus 2 square roots of 7 all over 6. And since 4 and 2 and 6 all share a common factor of 2, the simplest case, the simplest way to write your answer here is negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 7 all over 3. I factored out a 2 and canceled there. And that's math